Glory to Allah, Jalla Jalaluhu, who did take his servant for a journey by night from the sacred mosque to the Aqsa Mosque, which is surrounded by a place in order that we might show him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam some of our sign for he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who hears and sees all things with a journey for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our beloved brother Dr. Amir Hakim فليتفضل مشكورا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We begin in the name of Allah for he's the beginning of all matters and all praise is due to Allah for he says be and it is and may his choicest of salutations, peace and blessings be upon our master, our beloved Sayyidina wa Habibina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam upon his family, upon his friends, the companions and all those who follow him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until the last hour and may Allah include every one of you in this beautiful gathering of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Firstly, I'd like to thank Sheikh Muhammad Zarzur and our esteemed guests, Sheikh Sidi Ahmed and Sheikh Salahuddin and for the uh, Munshid for keeping our hearts alive on this beautiful occasion. Because every occasion, every moment is unique and every moment ha is an opportunity for you to connect to Allah through the, either the method of Salah or through the method of fasting. And today we come together in this auspicious gathering to celebrate Laylatul Isra wal Mi'raj the night journey of Sayyidina Muhammad on the heavenly ride of Al-Buraq beautifully depicted by Sidi Sheikh Ahmed in the heavenly language of Arabic followed by the heavenly ascension to a station promised and bestowed upon Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa by Allah, a station that no one dreamed of before and no one will attain after. A closeness to Allah Azza wa Jal. How is everyone? Have you ever been to heaven? Young ones, have you ever been to heaven? No dreams. Did you know that a gathering of remembrance of Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad is a gathering of heaven. And so this is a joyous occasion that Allah has granted us. Both males and females, our respected elders and our young, to be on this night remembering our Lord. And for, he, for that we thank him. I would like to use this opportunity of a few minutes to engage with this beautiful audience so that we may benefit by each other's presence. Does, Allah, does anyone know what Allah bestowed upon Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Baytul Maqdis? What station did Allah bestow upon him? 
Who did the prophet lead in prayer? Yes. All of the prophets. This is every prophet. What's your name, young man? Nabil. Nabil said every prophet. This is every prophet from the time of Sayyidina Adam salam, to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This was to show that Sayyidina Muhammad is the master of all prophets. And do you know the name of the beast that the prophet rode from Mecca to Masjid al-Aqsa, the furthest masjid? Yes, the Burak. And does anyone know the features of Burak? Someone else? Yes, young man. A horse, a creature that had features of a horse with wings. And it was of such speed that wherever it placed its foot, it was the furthest sight. It travelled further and faster than the speed of light. And it was a beast that had not been rode before, a special beast for Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And do you know that when Prophet Muhammad ascended through the majestic heavens, do you know what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the name of the house the Prophet visited, that is similar to the Kaaba? Raise your hands if you've been to the Kaaba. MashaAllah. May Allah grant us all the good fortune of visiting his house and succumbulating the house. Do you know the name of the house in, in, beyond, in the heavens and beyond? Baytul Ma'mur, the heavenly house. And does anyone know from one report how many angels succumbulate Baytul Ma'mur? 70,000 malaika angels. Could you imagine? Take a moment now. If you need, close your eyes and imagine a house where 70,000 angels circumambulate. Think of the narration of Sayyidina Jibra'il alayhi salam when he presented himself to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. And he, one of his wings was equivalent to the diameter of earth and it's narrated that his wings were of a number of 600 in his truest forms can you imagine the entire earth and one wing be equal of Sayyidina Jibra'il of earth and then imagine 70,000 angels and what did Allah grant Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Baytul Ma'mur he granted him among the elect ones, the chosen ones, to pray there and to remember Allah. Do you, not, do you know what we're instructed and prescribed in the Quran to recite often? Does anyone know? Anyone? What are we instructed and prescribed to recite often in the Quran? Have you heard of dhikr? Dhikr is the remembrance of Allah. And it's through this remembrance of Allah and servitude of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah bestowed him these mirac miraculous events. And that can happen for each and every one of you in this room right now. That Allah can bestow upon you closeness to him and can grant you miracles, miracles of truth, miracles karamat of the awliya of the friends of Allah the ones close to Allah and so aspire on these nights to serve Allah aspire on these nights to fall in love with Allah because the one who falls in love with Allah, Allah will forgive him and grant him stations in closeness and nearness to him and nearness to his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would you, be like, would you like to be in a gathering where you have angels following you? Raise your hands. Did you know that you as individuals can become better than angels? Do you know how? Does anyone know how? 
Did you know that angels are instructed by Allah to worship Him? But if you worship Allah through your love, then you will attain and reach a maqam that is greater than the maqam of the normal angels. And this is an opportunity for you to draw closer and closer to Allah. So Sayyidina Muhammad, on this heavenly ascension to Allah, it was both in body and soul. But for you as individuals, you can undertake this journey every moment of your life in soul to Allah by, his, by serving Him and by remembering Him. By serving Allah and remembering Allah. And did you know who accompanied Sayyidina Muhammad? Do you know the name of the angel who accompanied Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the heavenly ascension? Does anyone know? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Does anyone know? Would you like to? Yes? Sayyidina Jibra'il alayhi salam. He accompanied Sayyidina Muhammad through one heaven to another until they reached the station of the loach tree, Sidratil Muntaha. And it's described that the tree is beyond description to such an extent that one of its leaves, were it to fall, it would cover the expansion of the heavens and the earth. Just one leaf. And do you know what Sayyidina Jibra'il said to Sayyidina Muhammad? To show him the superiority of Sayyidina Muhammad over all creation. Sayyidina Muhammad is known as Khayra Khalkillah, the best of all creation. Better than the throne of Allah. Azawajal. Do you know what Sayyidina Jibra'il said? Yes, young man. I cannot go any further. Why? Does anyone know? He will be burnt. He will go into a state of non-existence. He will not be able to tolerate Sidratil Muntaha and what is beyond it. So Sayyidina Muhammad continued his journey to his beloved. And who is the beloved of Sayyidina Muhammad? Yes. Allah. And who is the beloved of Allah? Prophet Muhammad. So if you love Allah, who will love you? Prophet Muhammad. And if you love Prophet Muhammad,